How often do you actually think about your dream life? What stops you from thinking about the possibility? Stop! Enough! Why did you interrupt me? It's not that deep! What? It's not that deep, bro. We are literally just asking people what their dreams are. That's it. Wow, that's so profound. What does that spark within you? Shh, cut the video. Hello. Welcome to the video. You might be wondering what the f is going on right now. And to be honest with you, I have no idea. But what I do know is that Luke is sick of overthinking video ideas. And instead he wants to create something, whatever crazy idea comes up in his head, instead of overthinking the significance of its impact. In other words, he has no f left to give because he's authentic. And you see, ultimately when we're authentic, we are the best version of ourselves and the world is a better place. It's not that deep, bro. We should start the video now. You ready? Woo! 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 Are you recording? <laughs> Hello, how's it going? We are here today in the beautiful capital city of Australia, aka Canberra. Uh, it's not pronounced that way, it's Canberra. Uh, I'm here with Lyndall. Lyndall, show your face. And we are filming a video pretty much asking people what their biggest dreams are. Um, I saw Nisha do this video a few weeks ago and I really love it. So hopefully we get some good answers. Really simple video idea, not that deep. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna come sit down here. <laughs> so, what's your biggest dream? I'd like to be a politician one day. Certified Ken Baron. All right, in all seriousness, Liam, what's your dream? With great power comes great big booty <laughs> Uh Wait, what question are we actually asking people? Oh my God! <laughs> what's your, okay, wait, wait. <laughs> Liam, what's your biggest dream? I wanna make movies. It's really wholesome. Well, the, this is the thing. I wanna make movies that inspire others and make them see themselves in those movies. I feel like there's not a lot of representation for a lot of minority groups. Um, I grew up being asexual with no representation and I want to help others find representation in the media and that's the reason I want to make movies. What is your dream? Well, this is so basic, but I would like to be surrounded by friends and family and do a job that doesn't make me want to cry every day. But also I feel like it would be cool to move away from a conception of dreams as only dream job. Mm. Like I don't I don't dream of labor. Hello, what was your name? <laughs> My name's Taffy. Hi Taffy. What's your biggest dream? <laughs> like I just want to wake up every day by the beach and then I want to own a coffee shop and then I want to like go to Pilates and then go to my work at my coffee shop and then serve like all these friendly people coffee shops uh, or serve them coffee <laughs> and then I want to pet the dogs and then I want to go home to like a nice house with a lovely family. <laughs> That's so much, That's so specific but I love that. Yeah. Thank you. What are you doing right now to work towards it? Currently I'm not living anywhere near the ocean <laughs> nor do I own a coffee shop yet but I have a coffee. You, have you made coffee before? Or? Yes, I've been a barista for about a year um, in my gap here. I've got the qualifications there. I've just got to, getting my degree is like a fallback. Certified Ken Baron. What's your dream? My dream is that at the end of each market I go home without any produce. Oh, that's nice. So yes. you're currently kind of living your dream doing the market yes. stalls, is that right? That's right. How long did it take to, to kind of realise that like doing markets was your dream? I did it because I was retired and I was bored. So I've come to the market, so I enjoy the social contact, plus the extra cash. What's your biggest dream? Uh, my biggest dream at the moment would be, so I'm a tarot reader at the markets, and if I could do uh, that and not have to work another job, that'd be my dream. What are you sort of doing at the moment to work towards that? But right now it is just a, just sort of waiting to get things in line, which yeah. is just very boring. Have you always like lived in Canberra or? Uh, no, I moved here from Sydney in 2018. Okay. What made you move from Sydney? Uh, Sydney sucks. <laughs> Sorry, Sydney people. <laughs> I'm not Sydney people. It sucks. <laughs> it's moist. You can be dry in Canberra. We're all just organisms, man. We're just yeah. gonna decompose. I want to hang out and look at shit while yeah. I'm here. What is your dream? I think we probably <laughs> just want to have peace as well, but also go around and make a little bit of a difference in the process, you know, um, helping some people along the way would be nice. That's so lovely. And what kind of like uh, impact or like help do you want to give to people? Are you still kind of figuring it out? Still figuring it out. Um, I've just decided to go home and do nursing. It's, yeah, just to try it out. It's like a skill to 
it's not a deficit if I learn it and I don't decide that it's not for me. Like, like oh. dreams are either like they're framed in like okay, either you're a consultant or you're a public servant. It's like oh my god, whoa. Or a hospitality worker. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The three pillars of Canberra's economy. I'm gonna cry because it's so wholesome. It's like, it's like oh, I mean, she said that her her dream was like like kind of basic. But I was like no, that's like the that's so wholesome. Like. Just, just wanting to be surrounded by like your lovely friends and family and stuff and just be like... <laughs> Ooh, we're vlogging now, hello. One thing that I'm sort of noticing just through asking people what their dreams are is there's actually a lot of people who might not necessarily like the intensity of that question because I feel like we almost put too much emphasis on what our dream is instead of actually just living. Oh, does that even make sense? Was that deep? That was so deep. <laughs> little, 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 coming, 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 coming. Oh, there you are. So I think the thing that I'm sort of realizing is I almost don't actually like asking people this question, which is ironic because this is what the whole video is about. Because it's like, it's almost like we're putting an importance on having a dream, which, and it's great to have a dream, but it's like we, we keep putting an emphasis on purpose and needing to have a greater desire than what we already got. It's, it's almost like we're encouraging uncontentness in a weird way kind you know what of, I mean yeah. but 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 what is what's making me realize this is talking to people and some of the answers are very simple I, I think a lot of the people here don't want to fall under this sort of idea that they have to have something grand mm. to accomplish to be happy like they just want to live a really simple life and I think that's really beautiful and I almost think we put too much emphasis sometimes on sometimes just existing is nice and kind of it uh enjoying the little things like a nice sunny day and that kind of thing so. which is what we're doing <laughs> <laughs> At a brief intermission today, I am playing a song for the people at home on my brand new piano. Shall we have a seat? This is a very heavy chair. <laughs> it's a song I like to call Faded, and it is the only song I know how to play. So that's all you get. There once was a man. His name was Luke. He liked to puke and ask people what their dreams were. But then he was locked in a cave. He's lost the plot. He's going insane. His voice isn't matching the keys, but that's okay. He's singing this song anyway. This is getting a little awkward, but that's okay. Gonna start singing an actual song in a second, hey? <laughs> okay, so let's move on before I get people to keep <laughs> <laughs> My name's Lyndall. I got a spindle in my backyard. Oh! Uh, I go hard. Sometimes I like to <laughs> blow charts. Oh! <laughs> so, what's your biggest dream? And what are you doing to get there? People are so quiet here in Canberra. Uh, what's your biggest dream? Um, it's to buy a penthouse in like a really like busy area. I like really want to live in the city because we live in Canberra, right? And that, this place is like boring. Like there's nothing to do here. I know the entire layout of city. That's how boring it is. So yes, I want to live in a big city. Is there a particular city you'd want to do it in? No, because of like all the good cities, they're really expensive. You know, like New York, that's really expensive. So like, I don't know, I don't have a specific city, but I also have like another dream and it's to live in like England, you know, like where it's like, it's like really snowy and like, I, I want to live in a snowy area. Too. Yeah, amazing. Are you doing anything at the moment to work towards that dream? Yes, I'm trying to get good grades. <laughs> <laughs> What's your biggest dream? Um, my biggest dream is uh, to use my dance skills and um, what we do in the dance community to grow the community, to educate all the young ones and the adults about love, support, unity, and um, yeah, and that's my biggest dream. Amazing, man. And wait, what sort of things are you doing at the moment to work towards that? So at the moment, we are working collaboratively as a dance community across all the states in Australia and we're collaborating together through workshops, dance uh, video projects, uh, busking around the streets, and just educating people about the culture. Because we all have our nine to five jobs. Uh, yeah. And then you get so tired mentally, uh, and 
you know, that can easily cause anxiety and depression. So we're trying to bring that happy face. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing when we run dance classes, because we run dance classes, I, you might have mentioned this already, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yep. The people that look forward to, you know, coming to our class, it's good to see you, man. Yeah, um, uh, to come to our class. Uh, most, mostly public servants, 80 to 90 percent of them yeah. are public wow. servants. Yeah. And like, that's like the one thing they look forward to. It's like, you guys are a blessing to Canberra, oh, you know? Yeah. So it's nice. Uh, my heart is full and I love people. Those guys are doing such incredible freaking work in Canberra. I absolutely love it. You guys, if you're watching this, you're amazing. Um, and hopefully we do some events in the future. Who knows? Hello everyone and welcome to... <laughs> Oh, this is an angle. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the U Effect video. Now you might be wondering why we are doing this. Well, that's because we decided we want to share the world through a new perspective, a new lens. In these videos, we want to get angles that not many people are getting, and not many people are getting these angles because th these angles are authentic, Lindor. <laughs> this is the most authentic version of myself. Because you think about it, I'm tall, right? I'm six foot two. Most people are looking at me from down, right? So this is what most people are seeing when they look at me. It's true. They're not looking at Luke. They're not looking at me like this. They're looking at me like this. And so this is the most authentic version. So from now and on... that's how I knew you needed to blow your nose earlier. Yeah, and <laughs> literally. And this is why, from now on, we're filming all videos like this. We're going to start every video with, Hey guys, welcome to the U Effect. Today we are asking strangers why they should not talk to me. Are you filming me? Jared! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> goodbye! You saying goodbye? Go say goodbye. Bye! Bye! Okay, that's uh, way too awkward of an ending. Let's try that again. <laughs> I know we said we weren't going to make the video that deep, but we do feel there is something of value to take away from this, and that's simply the concept that your dreams have to be a certain way. We all have different dreams, different ideal ways to live our lives, and instead of putting unnecessary pressure on ourselves to fit into what society deems successful, we should actually just follow our own paths. Whatever sparks a flame, within you. Hello, my name is Luke and I run a channel. <laughs> What's the channel called? <laughs> the U Effect. <laughs>